So my name is Steven Montalvo. I am a composer, performer, and installation artist, and I live here in New Orleans. Uh, and then at the Boberg School, I have been teaching a rhythm basics course, looking at Western uh, art music and the notation it uses and how to understand it from a slightly different perspective. One of the things that I like that the Boberg School has done is being able to provide really quality content that emphasizes ideas that may be considered outside of the norm in terms of artistic practice, but presenting them in a really accessible way for new audiences. And so they've provided these classes and these opportunities to look at art and to understand art uh, in, in a myriad of different ways to anybody who is able to show up and who wants to come out and experience these ideas for themselves. It's been really nice in that sense that there's not this significant barrier to entry that you see with a lot of arts classes in uh, that it's really open and that it's easy to access. And so I really appreciate that about the school. It's been one of the things that I think is really one of the strongest aspects of, of what the school is doing in terms of providing access to the arts inside of the city of New Orleans. Whenever you're talking about arts education or art classes, music classes, anything of that sort, more typically you're looking at something that is focused on the mechanics of getting started with some sort of medium, uh, whether that's how to draw, whether that's how to play an instrument, or how to act in a setting. And so one thing that's been really great about the Bobar classes is a lot of the courses are focused more on how do we think about art and how do we think about artistic ideas and how do we interact in artistic ways. And I think that that is something that is not really present in a lot of classes that are available to the public. A lot of these ideas are present whenever you're taking classes at higher learning institutions but it's not really something that you see very often that is in places where the public has access and where you don't have to have had extensive training in the arts to be able to talk about and experience these concepts and ideas at a really interesting and thought-provoking level. The really great thing about the Boberg School is it's providing that opportunity to people without the prerequisite training, per se. You know, and I say prerequisite, not that it's necessary, but that is a lot of times uh, you don't find these conversations unless you've had a lot of training. And then to be able to provide those sorts of opportunities for learning to the community without that background base knowledge, I think is really important in terms of fostering a community that cares about art and is able to experience and understand art uh, in their own specific ways. And because that's really what it's about. It, it's art is not about understanding why something is important, but art is about understanding why something is important to you. And being able to have conversations in which you explore those ideas are really important. So I think that is what the Boberg School is providing to the community. And I really appreciate that. And I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to be a part of that. <laughs>